theory going around about this movie, it was formulated by an expert on it, I believe it was me, that this part was originally intended for Buster Keaton. My, the logic of this was, if you were writing a movie and you wanted to have a gangster character played by Buster Keaton, wouldn't you call him Smiler Grogan? Isn't that the perfect name? And also there's the whole idea of this great of the silent comedy handing off the chase to the next generation of comedians. So I pushed this theory out there for a while and uh, people argued about it and debated it. And I asked Stanley, when I got to talk to Stanley Kramer, he kind of half confirmed it. He wasn't quite sure there. Well, Paul came up with uh, William Rose's original outline for this movie. And sure enough, right in there, it says in William Rose's own typeface that he wanted to have the part of the gangster played by Buster Keaton. And the part that Keaton did play is named Jimmy, which would indicate that they have literally switched parts. Possibly, yeah. Jimmy and Randy at this time was a pretty big star internationally because of Billy Rose's Jumbo and a few of his other film appearances. And uh, the theory would be that he was elevated to this role because they wanted to give him more billing and Jimmy the Crook wasn't a big enough part to, to bill him for. Mm -hmm. And, of course, putting him in the beginning of the picture gives him prominence. And uh, it should also be noted that Durante and Keaton had worked together at MGM. They were a team, yes. Yes, uh, there are several pairs of actors in this movie, and we'll point them out, who were famous for working together but share no scenes. 